Welcome back to the Gloria and Jen YouTube channel. If you are new here, welcome. If you've been watching our videos, welcome back. So today we have some new scary urban legends from, as you can see from the title, Nicaragua. Gloria is going to be reading some stories she found online. And yeah, enjoy with us. So this is going to be the first time also Jan's hearing them. I've already seen them because I searched them up. The folklore legend of La Mocuana. So the legend of La Mocuana is believed that it's actually based off of history. So La Mocuana was a Indian princess at the time. It was based off of um, the 1550s. Her father was very nice to the Spanish like conquistadores, like the ones that came from Spain, you know, to conquer like, the um, Spanish lands. So um, he gave them a little bit of gold and they gave him a little bit of gold back. And he knew, like he knew that they were gonna come back, that the Spanish conquistadores were gonna come back and try to take all the gold that they had. So what the dad of the princess did of La Mocuana, he hid it all and he only told La Mocuana where it was at. So nobody else knew within the town, nobody else knew where it was at. But except her. Except her, yeah. So the thing is that the Spaniards ended up coming back. And when they came back, they wanted to start a war and they started fighting with um, the people of this uh, tribe and the tribe ended up winning and La Mocuana ended up like falling in love with one of the Spanish um, soldiers so she like ran away with him and when she goes and runs away with him um, she ends up telling him where the gold is at and he betrays her right away and when he betrays her she's like I gotta run back to my tribe you know I gotta I gotta tell them I didn't do all this stuff you know like and but she was also like thinking like oh my god like what did I get myself into like you know yeah. so what he does is he um he puts her in a cave and he locks her in there saying like you know you can't get out of here you can't get out of this situation <laughs> and he locks her in there and then he leaves and then um so the legend is of La Mocuana is that she's trying to she ends up escaping that's what they think that happened but that um she had a lot of guilt like saying like I betrayed my father and I betrayed my tribe so um, she's like trying to go back, you know, and um, that's the first, like, um, the first one, but they say that they usually see her around the countryside and that it just seems like she's feeling really, really guilty about what she did and that she also tries to um, lure drunk people, like drunk drunkards, it says, and like pass buyers to her cave and then, and then they end up disappearing. The, she was a princess, right? Mm -hmm. So basically she is now seen in the countryside. So she'll see um, drunken people and she'll lure them in and they'll disappear after that. Mm -hmm. Like you won't ever see those people again. Yeah, because they just end up disappearing. Mm -hmm. So let's skip it to the next the next one. La Segua. This folklore is based off La Segua and it is a witch who resides in the woods. So um, she takes on several facades at times she appears in a white corn leaf dress with a veil covering her face. It is said that she has long black hair covering over her face. She is also said to be wearing a gomuro tree leaf um, dress and her voice is made raspy and hollow by plantain leaves on her teeth. Others say that her face is ghostly and that her eyes stare into the victim's souls. Still other versions say that they believe that her face is the face of a horse. Um, Nicaraguans also say that she walks through the woods and the back roads naked, waiting for her next victim. Um, they also say that men are all like drawn, like drawn to her because of her um, fantastical silhouette. The words that she speaks to the men are so horrifying that they instantly become insane and they can't come back to be normal. La Siguanaba is believed to be have super superhuman abilities and that she's able to walk through solid objects and she can gravitate above ground and so fly at extreme speeds <laughs> so she's like a full-on ghost almost right she's she's a witch <laughs> she's a witch <laughs> <laughs> yeah but remember she, so she can do ghost things though cause yeah cause she can she can go through objects yeah 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 she can go through objects she like hovers around the ground and then she flies through really, really fast <laughs> Have you seen those videos like on YouTube where like there's like those witches caught on camera <laughs> and they're all in Central America, right? <laughs> you know, a lot of people do like witchcraft and stuff, so 
it's some something that like they can sort of be like, mm, like I can see that happening, you know. This witch is very she attracts men easily, right? Mm -hmm. But then she'll like make them go insane and she'll say horrifying things to them that will make them literally go insane. Yeah, you gotta watch out if you're in the streets of Central America, especially if you're a man. A lot of these are the men. Yeah, and the thing is that I'm gonna I have there's a little part in the bottom, so it says that if um how to like how not to how to like um, avoid it, like yeah like and she's like, oh, you know, and run, okay? It says to carry around mustard seeds and then throw them at her. And if you throw them at her, she apparently will stop. And she'll try to, like, she'll stop and pick up the magical seeds. They're uh, not magical, they're mustard. Yeah, I don't know. Just cause you just gotta start saying, si tuvieras fe, como? <laughs> <laughs> and that's what I thought about when I first read this. People might not know what I'm talking about, but um, like growing up Hispanic myself and in a Hispanic church. Like, that's one of the songs that they put for Jubilo, like when I was little. So it says that this is like a myth and a folklore at the same time, when a Nicaraguan one, and that they believe that this is to ensure that men go straight home from work. Okay, so basically, if you see a beautiful woman, it's you a, run. This almost sounds like, um, a, La Ciguanaba. No, I was gonna say, yeah, from the last video. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I was gonna say, it sounds like a lot of men have cheated. Mm -hmm. So they make these really scary stories or I don't know, maybe something has happened before that a guy like followed a beautiful lady and she him or something. You Wait, know, can murder. I say on YouTube? I don't know. Him? So... And she... Him, you know? And so then they made these stories up to be like, you see, you don't cheat because you will get... You know, I don't know. All right, so she basically she's really ugly, right? I we also so just the thing saw is that, that they say that the silhouette is really pretty, but then they say that the her face is really pale and ghostly. And then the other one is that she has the face of a horse. And then I catfish. heard fish. Yeah, and then, <laughs> she's a catfish. And then another story said that her face was of a horse, but that the the flesh was rotting. Yeah, like a horse with the face rotting. rotting. So basically, you're like tap me in the back. Like a horse, <laughs> it's a horse face. Like that's catfish to the next level. Like I don't know. What do you guys think? Comment down below. <laughs> yeah. Well, this is the third one. Okay, the third one is something that sounds similar and it sounds like something we've heard before as well. La carreta nagua. So this is gonna be a story about this like type of like, carriage, like a horse ridden carriage. So basically, this story kind of um has been like kind of told around in Central America I think we've also heard one from El Salvador that um I think a relative or something said they knew a man that this happened to so basically it's say you're at home at night and you'll hear a carriage outside and you'll hear like chains dragging you'll hear cows walking or like you know like yeah so you'll, you'll hear all this noise but they always say don't look outside your window because it's very likely that it's a um, skeleton Riding like I think they're thinking like of a reaper. Yeah, a skeleton basically um controlling this carriage and like you know walking by or wagon. And if you look outside, you will literally go insane. That's like what will lose your mind. Yeah, that's what the story basically is about. And that's why if you hear any noise at night, don't look outside. Yeah, you don't look outside. That's like the, I, I remember being scared, like yeah. being little and being like I can't look outside. And then even till now, like. I don't because I, I like really I like watching Criminal Minds and like um, NCIS and stuff like that. Like I used to watch that so much that I'm like so paranoid that I'm just like I I don't want to look outside and there's a face. Yeah, <laughs> like, like if there's a face the staring hippie. back there, I'm gonna lose it. Like, like do the hippie jibbies, you yes. know? So yeah, that's a scary story that you hear around Central America, and um, she's gonna say like the the Nicaraguan 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 um, version. La Caretanagua is considered an embodiment of Nicaraguan folklore and mythology. The tale is a blend of past realities and imaginative based off culture. The story of La Caretanagua is based on caravans of the Spaniards who conquered the land during the 16th century. As the ox carts moved through the land, the Spaniards were plundering the Indian settlements, taking their gold, supplies, as well as capturing slaves. The slaves were chained up and led along these journeys as the Spaniards' carts left ruins and death on their way. Legend states that Las Caretanagua makes its way through the town from 1 a.m., making a racket as the ox pull the cart along. Those who have seen the mysterious carriage of lost souls say that it moves very quickly and is unable to turn corners due to its cross shape. 
simply disappearing as it reaches the end of a road. This tale may have been created to provide Nicaraguans a tangible understanding of death. See, because um, this one's a little bit more different because the one that we heard when we were little is saying that they lose their mind. But then this one is saying that if anybody hears it, that means just one person of the town dies. Okay, so if you hear it, somebody died. Mm -hmm. Some people have seen it. And that it moves very quickly, but it can't turn corners. So that means they don't die if they see it. But it just means, I guess, it's like, um, I don't see it, like, a, it's announcing that somebody's gonna die. Mm. It's like picking someone up. Mm -hmm. That's kind of creepy. Is that it? That's it. I hope you guys enjoyed those stories. If you guys have any more different stories that you guys have heard from Nicaragua or from a different Central American country or any country, let us know down below. We love reading the stories you guys leave down there. We got a comment last time and it gave us like more insight on like another story and we like reading about it. So if you guys have any other stories, please leave them down below. If you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below. We really appreciate it. And thank you guys for watching this video. And also a reminder, um, we're going to be reading scary stories from different places of Central America. So if you guys um, want to keep on seeing other countries or you're waiting for your country to pop up, um, remember to sus subscribe. <laughs> no, no, I can't even speak. Uh, remember to subscribe, like, and comment, and share. Um, we'll be, you know, um, trying to post as much as we can. My hair is short, if you guys can see. Um, that video still hasn't been posted, but it's going to be posted very soon. Um, there's also other videos that you guys might see that my hair is not cut yet, and it's going to be because my computer actually broke and it took them a whole month to get it fixed. So those videos that I had edited, um, they deleted that as well just because they fixed the screen they decided to delete all my footage and they messed up my computer even more so um we had to re-edit that yes. video so there's three videos that I still haven't come up they're gonna be from our California trip trip so yes well thanks for um, watching guys I hope you guys liked remember to like subscribe and comment and um, we'll be seeing you guys later and if you're a man stay safe in Central America don't go out too late yeah, don't go out too late. We're concerned.